So I think Danielle said this is a um, pull-through spot that they mostly use for like an outdoor seating area. Like they don't use the pull-through spot unless necessary. Oh, I see. I was thinking it was a picnic area and yeah. <laughs> now it makes sense. So the office then is right behind that spot. Come on. So on the left is mostly full timers or seasonals. And then up against the lake is more traveling. So the owners live on site and it's passed down uh, two generations now. So it was the grandmother, grandfather, then mother, father, and now the kids own it. So up to that stop sign and turn right and the town is about a mile down the road, not, not even quite a mile. Yeah, about half a mile probably. Something like that. So the owners were super nice. They called us or they tech, yeah, they tried to call us, but they texted us on our way in and let us know that when we got here to come in, go to the left, we didn't need to do anything because we were in a little bit late. Yep. Um, but it was really cool of them to, to do that and not have us kind of guessing as to what to do when we got here. Um, there's this big grassy area. I don't know if that's like a park that you can go play in or if it's, I know the owners I believe live in that location. And then, then they also had this little cabin, these little cabins you can rent, I believe. So I assume based on that stuff, it's kind of a public use area. There's some wood and a fire pit. Good morning. Good morning. So fire pit, firewood, There's picnic cornhole. tables. And what did you say, Emily? Cornhole, cornhole. leaning up against the building. So starting with spot 29, you have river view. So it's a pretty small park because um, in the time that we've been recording this, which is probably somewhere in the six or seven minute mark and a slow walk, we've walked around the entire of the, the entirety of the park. The sun sets over the barn behind our spot, which is really cool in the evenings. Someone out fly fishing this morning. This is one of those like you find it. That's what we were talking to our neighbors because they were on their way out, and you find something like this, and you're like. I'll stay here again. Like, my brother's coming up and we're going to Rocky Mountain National, but every summer we do something with him, and I'm like, if we come anywhere near here, I'm just gonna have him stay, uh, stay here let's, let's stop at this here. place. I'm gonna start it and just run up. They're being really good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's funny, like, I hated ever being on camera or anything like that and then now it's like <laughs> I'm really bad at like actually I've been really good I always forget I have it in my head and then I do those two for looks yeah <clears throat> that's some good stuff right there so 
the worst is like was it when we went to Cherry Creek and we were leaving and I'm like, oh, we didn't get this or that or this or that. And I'm like, well. <laughs> Honestly, that's like the biggest challenge. Like, like you know. Hey, dear. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my god, you really look so good. <laughs> Holy cow. She's got muscles like that. Like her back is just like Everybody's going to us. I really want to come be here, but it's cold. I'm in my phone, this is cute. Uh, so we just had to <laughs> emergency bring everything into the trailer. Uh, the wind picked up. It was like, it, the weather saying it was what, 20, 20 mile an hour gusts? Yeah. It was more than that. <laughs> it was more than 20? It was way more than 20. <laughs> it picked up for a minute. It looks like it probably settled it's down a bit. It almost completely did. Uh, Look at the flag. It's like not even moving anymore. See if we can pick up the flag on the front there. Yeah. So we had to rip everything into the uh, trailer really quick. <laughs> Including so, all three dogs. Here's three dogs. <laughs> <laughs> three tired puppies. The good news is they're all wrecked at the moment. So at least we have that going for us. <laughs> 